let me help you with that. Okay, thanks. I'm too tall. Shout out to Noster is a uh, perfect segue to uh, my talk. Um, tell you a bunch of, about a bunch of things that are mostly not at Proto. Um, thanks for the introduction. Uh, it's, what are we, an hour after lunch, mid-afternoon. Food coma is perfectly settling in just about now, right? Um, I won't make you get up and do jumping jacks. I'll, you know, for those of you who are dozing, I'll try to speak softly and let you keep sleeping. So, uh, we heard a lot this morning from a number of different people about uh, people, not platforms. You know, humanity and humane tech, not just tech. Uh, people, not platforms is my partner at Anu Anu Social. Uh, Anusha's kind of motto has been for years. Um, so, I'm up here, I'm going to be foolish and naive and ignore all of that uh, and follow Dan's lead and tell you just about tech for 15 minutes. What could go wrong? Uh, so, um, you have heard these two viewpoints before. We already have a protocol. Why are we making another? Stop making new protocols. We got one. Or, there are so many great protocols. Let's make more. You know, um, I'm not going to litigate that, but uh, you know, I think there's something to both sides. Um, the, all the protocols, this is the jungle that, uh, uh, that Blaine talked about this morning. Uh, this is where I live. This is just a tiny bit of uh, rabble. I don't know if he's here. He has a slide with like 50 of them, like in 10 point font, you know, three columns. Um, there's a ton out there. There are a number of, there are a few big ones. There are a bunch of small ones. Um, but there's a lot, a lot of things people have tried. So we can learn from all of these. Uh, so today I'm going to take us through a whirlwind tour of six of them, email, web, specifically IndieWeb, which adds web mention and some micro formats to let you like reply, like repost between websites. ActivityPub, uh, AppProto, Noster, and Farcaster. Um, there are more. I've learned about some more. So I've done a few deep dives. I'm excited to do even more deep dives, but I got 15 minutes. Uh, for each of these protocols, there's someone here who knows way more about it than me. Um, so tell me at the end. Uh, I'm going to get something wrong. I'm going to. There will be something in here that pisses each one of you off. It's. I apologize. Forgive me. I got a sack for all the complaints. So please bring them up. So, without further ado, uh, yeah, when are these things? So obviously email and web are old. Email started in the 60s, uh, web started late 80s, was it? 80s. Um, Activity Pub, depending on how you count it, it's got this lineage from O status and even Adam through, um, yeah, but that was, like Activity Pub itself, yeah, that lineage was before 2010. Blue Sky 2019 was the org, and maybe you say 2022 was the protocol. Nostra Farcaster 2022 was the protocol. So we got old, new, in between. Let's jump in. Um, architecture, you've heard this already today from a number of people, from Paul, from Dan, others. So you're going to hear echoes here. Um, so web is P2P, uh, indie web at least is P2P between web servers. Um, Federated is email and activity pub. Uh, you are a user on a server, like you belong to that server. Uh, Noster and Farcaster kind of, have, they have servers, but they're interchangeable. These relays that you can talk to any relay and they, they kind of trade information, they kind of don't, but it doesn't matter which relay you use to a degree. Uh, at Proto, likes federation, likes relays, said por que no los dos. Um, this will be a pattern. Uh, at Proto kind of sees all the techniques and says, oh, they're, they're great, let's use them all. <laughs> Which, yeah, there's something to it. Data transfer, how, if it's decentralized, how do all the parts send data back and forth? There are two big paradigms here, message passing and structured data synchronization. Uh, email, activity pub, Noster, I would argue are message passing. A lot of these definitions are fuzzy, Noster, eh, but it's more message passing. Structured synchronization, uh, definitely at Proto, uh, Farcaster, uh, built into the protocol that the relays in Farcaster talk to each other. Web is, IndieWeb is kind of both by virtue of it using thin pings. It sends messages, but it doesn't send the content. It says, ask me for the content. So it kind of does both. Identity, I've heard a lot about identity. Um, there is location-based identity, so DNS is email, uh, activity pub, web. Um, Noster is key pairs, you know, like 
no, nothing that remotely smells centralized, so let me generate my, my key pair offline here, and you generate yours, and that's our identities. Um, very decentralized, but if you forget your password, you SOL. It's not so great. Uh, Farcaster is blockchain. At Proto again, you know, in the intersection, it's got the key pair based, it's got the DNS based. Uh, by virtue of doing DIDs, maybe one day it'll use blockchain too, who knows, or at least support it, but, uh, but yeah. Object identity. Um, so, yeah, email message IDs, it's your domain, your SMTP server's domain plus something you generate. Um, lots of URIs, web and activity pub IDs are all URIs. Uh, lots of content addressing, Nostra and Farcaster use hashes, and then at Proto in the middle doing all the things, or a couple of the things at least. Uh, I should go back and say, yeah, so here uh, it's specifically at URIs and SIDs, uh, and, which are hashes, and so depending on what you're doing, you're gonna point to one or both, one or the other or both, yeah. Data model, I got nothing for you. Um, everyone does their own thing. <laughs> like, in the team's words, this is our novel version of NIH syndrome. Um, but it's not at Proto alone doing their own thing. Everyone does their own thing. I mean, email is, what was it, RFC 2822, web's HTML, activity pub, you know, like, they, like, at least that's serial, with that serialization, but still, like, there's very little uh, coherence on data model, so like primitive types, like IPLD and at Proto, or on schemas, despite RDF. RDF. <laughs> Serialization, we at least have some coherence. Uh, still a lot of them doing their own thing, text, HTML, protobuf. Um, but there is a lot of JSON uh, at Proto, ActivityPub, Noster. I'm missing the DAG Seabor thing here, which counts. Uh, Samir asked about car files. That's very serialization, but uh, even when I tried to capture all the things that Proto does, it's doing more things I, I didn't capture. So it's all the things. Transports. Some more coherence. Uh, SMTP, yeah. Um, HTTP, a lot of them. Uh, or at least, yeah, web, activity pub. Uh, Nostra is WebSocket. At Proto, por que no listos? And then, you know, GRCPC and libp2p, like, God love them. I love both of those. I mean, not the most popular choices, but yeah, they, they work. Where do semantics live? So there's like, this isn't, business is the wrong word, but there is business logic to this. Like, who does the business logic or where does the business logic? Like, if you, connecting replies, uh, applying reposts, like, that's logic you have to run somewhere. Uh, lots of them need this or do this on both server and client. Email, web, activity, pub, app, proto. Um, oddly, the Nostra and Farcaster usually are doing the exact same thing. Here, they're pretty split. Uh, this is not perfect, but Farcaster, it's largely on the server side. Nostra, it's very on the client side. Monetization. Getting a little less technical here. Um, again, very little coherence. Email, like, is spam the business model? I don't know, like, something? Uh, web, you pay for hosting. Uh, Fediverse hates money in all forms, as far as I can tell, so you don't pay for hosting. You generously give money of yourself to your host, but we would never call it paying for hosting. Um, App Proto, has anyone seen the App Proto business model? Like, can, can, you, can you check under your chair, can, see if you find the, uh, the business model? Uh, I'm, I, I, it's not t-shirts, it is maybe t-shirts. Uh, it's definitely not ads. It's almost certainly not ads. It's probably not ads? Probably not ads. Um, Nostra and Farcaster are the two here who have a, that have a coherent story for payments at least, and maybe business model, um, microtransactions. So Nostra does zaps, which are lightning on Bitcoin. Farcaster does Ethereum and what else? USDC. Um, so yeah. Governance, uh, a few commonalities here. There is, there are standards bodies, so emails IETF. At Proto is probably heading toward IETF, hopefully. And Brian, near and dear to my heart. Web and Activity Pub are W3C. Nostra and Farcaster are interesting. They're very community, like emergence to a fault. Like anyone can add something in and then some people implement it, some people don't. And so you have this, you know, to uh, Dan's word, like, you have this tyranny of this structure, unstructuredness 
I think, in the standards themselves, which is trade-offs, you know. Not all bad, but not all good. Okay, so what are some trends we've seen here over time? We take the very long history view, you know, everyone does this back in the telegraph days, and I'm not going quite that far, but um, you go back a while, you look at mainframes and time sharing, um, they're centralized. Uh, you look at the early commercial uh, internet services, not ARPANET, but AOL, Prodigy, CompuServe, centralized. Uh, you start moving ahead, like email was clearly federated, ActivityPub is federated, the other direction was P2P, web and a bunch of these smaller protocols, SSB, um, famously. Um, but we have now maybe co, con we are now maybe converging on a couple things. Um, key things here are uh, key pairs for identity, uh, not solely, but key pairs for identity are pretty common in a bunch of these places. Um, and relays as servers, these aggregators and interchange points that are, that don't own users, but do a lot of the kind of heavy lifting to get stuff between people. Uh, this is Aproto, Noster, Farcaster. This is the end-to-end -end principle. Uh, you heard Peter talk about this earlier uh, today. Uh, he compared it to kind of a non-technical idea, but technically, you look at key pairs and relays, those kind of embody smarts at the end points and dumb pipes. Uh, so the end-to-end -end principle is like back in the IETF networking days. Uh, this is you make the network largely dumb pipes, you implement all the TCP, congestion control, and guaranteed delivery at the endpoints. And so I think we're seeing that in a lot of ways in these protocols too. Okay, so let's look at a lot of these endpoints. Where are the, these different protocols like heading toward currently? A lot of key pairs, a lot of relays. Uh, DNS for handles, this is at Proto um, Noster, among others. Content addressing, uh, microtransactions, um, maybe community governance, you know, I don't know, WebSocket. So if we kind of Frankenstein these all together and say, like, if we had a protocol that did all these, what would it be? At the first at Proto conference, I'm proud to announce to you that drum roll, that protocol looks a lot like Wait, uh, I'm sorry, there must be some mistake. Let, let me see if I can figure this out, okay. Uh, if we put it all together, drum roll, we get, at Proto, almost. Not quite, but almost. It's doing most of these things. You know, the governance, probably, well, I don't know, it's different, maybe better than community. Uh, microtransactions, not yet. Yeah, yeah, maybe we'll get there. But um, interestingly, yeah, like, I don't hang out a lot on Noster. Um, you know, we'll see, but it's doing all, seemingly all of these kind of endpoint trends right now. But this is not the end of history. We're gonna keep going and keep figuring out new ways, new ways to do things. Um, but it's an inter interesting one to look at. I am not, uh, you know, the, like, I didn't come up with this idea. Uh, Gordon Brander, who made the subconscious and nuosphere protocol, protocols, um, kind of, noted this, but uh, he's seeing some convergence, which is cool. If you hate this, this idea of Noster, uh, as a reminder, my name is Paul Frazee, P-F-R-A-Z-E-E dot -E com, please at me. Uh, as penance for getting up here at the App Proto Conference and telling you Noster is so great, um, I have a public apology to make. Way back in the day, this is 2021, the dinosaur era, era of, um, uh, of Blue Sky. Before they put out ADX, App Proto, or anything else, uh, they did a contest. Hey, uh, we're doing this decentralized thing. Um, we'd love to hear ideas. How, if you could connect your social protocol, profiles in a decentralized way that was provable, how would you do it? So I said, oh, I've been hanging out with IndieWeb for a while. We kind of do this. I will put together an IndieWeb uh, entry. Uh, a couple other people did too. I figured out, oh, it's like, it's not new, but we got this solved. I sent it in. Um, some other people won. I got an honorable mention, which was really nice. Um, but at this point in time, looking at what I had seen from uh, the Blue Sky team, their paper they put out on you know, a bunch of different protocols, where they came from and what they had talked about, uh, I figured they were kind of on the blockchain, you know, D DNS is not decentralized enough model, and so web, like, they would say, oh no. A um, friend of mine, Brett Slatkin, who was involved in Blue Sky early on, um, said, hey, you know, what happened? Why didn't they like it? Is, do they hate DNS? 
and me assuming a bunch of things, and you know, at Twitter, 2021, what do you do? You go shoot your mouth off. And I said, yeah, they hate DNS. Turns out, they kind of like DNS. <laughs> Who knew? So, up here in front of everyone, I would like to say to the Blue Sky team, Jay, I humbly apologize for maligning your good name and saying you hated DNS. I was wrong. I, I've never been so happy to be wrong. Uh, if you want to look at more of the protocol comparison stuff, it's in the Bridgie Fed docs. Um, so great to be here. This is going to be a blast. Have a great show. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ryan. <laughs> really appreciate that. Sorry? Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, up next, we have. Oh. Can I take one quick question? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that in 2021, um, the Blue Sky team was just me doing a Wizard of Oz thing behind the curtain using the royal we. And I apologize for not reading all the proposals in depth because I was pretending there was a team and it was me. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. <laughs>